Hey there everyone, my name is Arielle with The Foraging Family. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. We are a family that lives on 12 acres in the beautiful mountains of Alabama and here we are outside. It is an absolute beautiful day and we are here to answer a lot of your questions. Many of you have asked us to do a tour of our May garden. There's been a lot growing on. We've been very hard at work. That's why we haven't been posting as often, but today is the day. We are gonna take you on our garden tour. Um, in our last video, we planted a lot of things and they're growing like tremendously. God has afforded us so much great rain. So um, yeah, I'm really excited to take you on a tour. So let's get started. <laughs> We have all this blackberry. Let's get a close up. Yeah, this blackberry is so prolific here. You can see the black little blackberry starting to emerge. And the children, we love picking here. These blackberries are so good and they're so sweet. But you got to be careful of chiggers because this is Chiggerville right here. Um, but a really great tip to take care of chiggers is we make this um, our, our own spray with tea tree oil, peppermint, rosemary, citronella, and a little bit of rubbing alcohol in some water. We mix that up and we like douse our bodies with it so that the children don't get any chigger bites. Just a little PSA on safety in the outdoors. We have been diligently trying to teach our children how to be safe out here. Um, now that spring is here and the grass is getting tall, the animals are starting to come out. One of our good friends that also lives in the country sent us a picture of a copperhead that they just caught. Um, and they have small children too. So we're just really trying to teach our children to be careful out here. Snakes love to frequent and live in these blackberry briars because they stay safe with all the thorns. Um, so when it comes to picking time, we tell our children we have to wear our boots. Always be careful of where you're stepping. We also take a stick or a hiking um, pole and swish around the area before we walk in. Um, there's no running frolicking in the forest anymore because in the winter that was fine because everything was kind of clear. You could see where you're going um, because there's no leaves on the trees and stuff like that. But uh, even then you still need to be careful of where you step, but especially now. So that is just my public service announcement. Uh, learn safety when you are, especially when you're foraging or gardening. Lots of insects, lots of bites, lots of animals. Stay careful. Okay, so now we're gonna take our to the path to the orchard area. And here is the forest. Back there is my parents' house. And here is our huckleberries. Huckleberry grow so much around this area. And you can see they're starting to come out. There's our huckleberry, they are. They should be ready in late summer. Probably earlier actually. Those are our huckleberries. They're growing. Our huckleberry grow all along this trail. All right, let's head over towards the main garden area and orchard. All right, here we are. Wow, 
Wow, you are hard at work. What are you doing? Bye. into the greenhouse. All right. So we have tomatoes and peppers and lettuce, lots of stuff. This, this is my chamomile. And that's the mosquito plant. We haven't been getting many pests in here, thankfully, because we've plant planted marigold and um, basil and peppermint in here, rosemary. Those companion plants really keep the insects away for now. Here's our strawberry. You can see we have some strawberries growing here. Look at that. There's our Thai basil. We love Thai basil. And here is everything that we've grown ourselves. These are beans and lots of different types of peppers. We have cucumber and squash. And this is, I believe this is Elysium or Lysum. I'm not sure, but this is gonna be a really great crop to help deter insects that we're going to plant in our earth bed rows. Lots of tomato. These are Roma tomatoes. We really prefer Roma. Eggplant and squash. This is my husband's mango tree that he took from cuttings from his mom's, his parents' house in Florida. So far it's doing all right. It's actually has some leaves here that have emerged because it was like a bare stick before. Now it's doing pretty good have peas and our carrots here. These are our carrots. They are looking good. Here are more of our carrots. Lots of carrots here. We did some thinning to give them some space and we mounded them up and they have just popped up looking so good. Look at how big this one is. Look at how big. Wow, it's looking good. And my dad also planted some onions in these bricks here to really just utilize all the space. And here are our peas. Ooh, we gotta take a taste. I'm gonna grab this big fat juicy one. Oh my goodness. Wow, this is like a crunch. Mm. My absolute favorites. I will eat and snack on these, throw these in my salad, eat them raw. So delicious. Mm. We have so many. I'm going to come back with the children and harvest these later. Have these for lunch. And they're growing fantastic. Oops. This one has fallen. Bring her back up. There we go. So now that we're out of the greenhouse, finished touring that. We're not doing too much in this outside area next to the greenhouse. There's just so much going on, but we did plant some red onions here. We also planted popcorn here. And you can see it growing. You see that? That's all of our popcorn. So we had to make sure to plant this 600 feet away from our other varieties of corn because also will cross pollinate and that's just going to ruin the corn. So this, we made sure to plant it here 
and then our other corn is planted all the way back there in our earth bed rows. And here is our chicken coop. Let's see where the babies are. You can see Mama and her two babies. They were so excited when these two babies hatched and they were so scrawny and small just two weeks ago and now they're so big and strong and they're out roaming the coop. All right, let's head over to the earth bed rows. So this is the orchard area. So here are our potatoes. These are from Castle Valley Farms and they are looking great. It's a variety pack of different types of potatoes and we're gonna start mounding these up soon. Next to it are some more red onions that are doing really well. Hello boys. Hello, hello. What are you guys doing? Killing some ants. <laughs> Fun. Oh boy, look at that mouse. <laughs> All right, I gotta put you down. Come down, Siege. Okay, we have had a lot of potatoes, onions, and squash. This is actually the um, Haitian pumpkin we use for soup jumu. Um, if you guys don't already know, we are Haitian Americans, so we have to plant the stuff that we eat. Um, so we have that Haitian pumpkin for soup jumu. We have it growing. Um, we make sure we um, planted our garlic and our ginger. And uh, yeah, because that's the stuff that we eat that's cultural to us. You know what kind of pumpkin I'm talking about? Give us a thumbs up. A lot of people from the West Indies and the Caribbean eat that type of pumpkin. They make soups and so many things with that type of um, squash, that pumpkin. So we're growing that. We're so excited to have our own pumpkins to make our soup jumu and um, so many other things. I hope I'm saying it right because my husband will probably get on me for not pronouncing it properly. <laughs> but yeah. We also have our apple tree over here. We have some apples growing on our apple tree and this year it's looking really great apples and here is a peach tree it is so full of peaches look at all these peaches here lots and lots of peaches so what we did this year, because there was a serious fungus that had brown rotted most of our peaches and then the June bugs also came and just decimated all of our fruits. So what we're gonna try this year is we planted garlic at the bottom because of its antifungal, antiviral properties. And we're hoping that that's gonna kill off whatever um, worms or burrows, things that burrow, like try to kill those. Um, yeah, I don't know what else we could do, hopefully. So far they look really good. This has been the best they've done. So far they look real, these trees look really great. This is the best they've done in a very long time. So we're hoping to do well. And we also will have to thin the fruit um, they can't be growing too close together or else they're just not gonna grow as big and as sweet as they can so I believe it's every four inches we want to prune um, pull one away so like these two growing together I'll just pull that one off this is probably the hardest thing that I had to learn to do in the garden because I just want to keep all the fruit like who wants to just pull off fruit they're growing so well but in order for them to grow even better and for the tree to be able to take care of the ones that are um, for the tree to for the tree to be able to use all of its resources properly 
we need to start thinning the fruit and make sure they don't grow too close together. So sometimes that happens naturally with June drop, um, but we might need to just be intentional and do that ourselves. Down here, we have our beans. We have all types of beans, soybean, lentils, um, lakata bean, um, green beans, a lot of pole and bush beans here. Um, also growing with it are our um, squashes because they're companion plants and corn. We also have corn growing. Those are the three sisters, corn, beans, and squash. And here's our corn. Our corn is doing really great right there, right next to our squash. So this is our corn and this is squash. Corn and squash growing right next to each other. And these are all tomatoes too that have randomly been popping up. And these are probably from our compost. So we're gonna probably move them to a more advantageous area. These are more apples. We have apple here and apple there. We also have nectarine growing here. Oh, that's so beautiful. You see that water droplet? It's so pretty. Boop. Oh, wow, that was kind of jiggly. I think that's nectar or something. Oh yeah, what is that? It's like a gooey, ooey thingy. Interesting. Here are some more apples. We have pink lady and green apple, gala apple and Fuji. This I believe is our Fuji apple tree. It's looking really good. Have some apples up there. More of our corn and squash. and beans. Yeah, that goes all the way down there. That's gonna be a lot of squash, corn, and beans. Mercy. And we have, we're growing market cucumbers here. market cucumbers and squash here. Yeah, and here's another peach tree. Yeah, these peaches, this has a lot of peaches that we are going to have to thin. are sweet cherry and we are going to put a net over this because every time the cherries have come in the squirrels get to them first and it's so annoying I don't think we've even t gotten to taste a cherry from this tree before the squirrels get to them squirrels or the birds so we have a lot of preventative mes measures to take um and then here we also planted garlic to help with any fungus too so that is our orchard. There's hubby concentrating hard at work. I'd have him talk on this video, but he has a lot to get done. Yeah, we have a lot to work to get done. I, I have to get off and get to work and help out with the children and do all this other stuff. But I wanted to come here and kind of show you what we have growing on. I have, uh oh, you got stuck in the briars. Oh dear. Okay. Yeah, it's stingy. Yeah, you gotta be careful. All right, let's go. 
as you can see, as you can see, there's just so much going on here. Um, balancing family life, um, yeah, marriage, uh, homeschooling, homesteading, so much going on. A friend asked me the other day, how are you guys managing? How do you do all of this? And honestly, we don't. We just try to do our best every day. We take every day as a gift. We make a list of what we want to get done. If we get it all done, praise be to God. If we don't, it's okay. Um, some things got to give, but family and the Lord never give. We always put those as a priority. So that's why I haven't been uploading as often because honestly, there's a lot else going on. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video though. I'm glad I got to take out a little bit of time to do it. Um, hope you guys are inspired and hope you guys continue to garden. All right, bye everyone.